Hi friend, David here from Learn Stage Lighting. And in this video, I wanna just cover this basic question that I get a lot, which is, what is a DMX profile or a fixture profile? And why do I need one and how do I get one? Okay, that's kind of three big topics that really covers a lot of ground that if you're new to this can be super duper confusing. So if you are new here, if you're not subscribed, press that subscribe button right now for me. That's a huge help. Awesome. Now, you may have found your, you've started with some console lighting software or some other way to control lights. And you get to this point where you've got some lights, you can't find them in your software, and you're reading, okay, I need a fixture profile or a fixture file or a DMX file or an SSL file or SSL2 file or something in order to be able to control my light. And you look at your, you look confused, maybe try another light and realize none of that actually controls your light correctly. So if we break it down to the very basics, a DMX profile is really simple. It just tells the console what light you have and what DMX commands it's looking for. Because DMX, we've got to understand, okay, even though it's on modern brand new lights and it works great and professionals and amateurs use it all the time, DMX is like from the 80s, the late 80s, when there were hair bands, right? And it's a very simple way to communicate between lights and consoles. Your lighting console sends the command, your lights receive that command. And there's no talk back and forth. The lights don't say, oh, hey, I got the command, you know, or oh, hey, this, or oh, hey, that. Now, there is a newer protocol called RDM that does some of that, but it doesn't, it's not always active most of the time. So, because the light and the console don't really talk back and forth, it's just the console sends out the info, whoop, the light catches it, and the light does whatever it's told, um, because of this, you got to make sure you're telling the light the right thing to do. And because the light doesn't tell the console what it is or what it does, you have to tell the console or the software what the light needs to do. Okay? So, the very first thing you want to do is grab the manual for your light. If you don't have one, I also have a, a page that shows you how to use a tool called the Onyx Fixture Finder to find a light that you don't know. And you want to find that manual. If it's a light that was really inexpensive and maybe doesn't have a brand name on it, the first thing I would do is just patch into your lighting console. Um, instead of the fixture you want, patch a number of dimmer channels or conventional lights or whatever it might be called. And then just check, okay, channel one, if I bring up the first fixture, does it do this? Channel two, does it do that? Because then you can verify, okay, what I've got in the manual matches what the light is. Now, that brings up another point too. Um, out of the box, most lights you buy are gonna be addressed to DMX address number one, okay? And when you start patching in a console or a software, usually it starts at DMX address number one. But each of your lights is going to have a different address by the end of the day. You'll patch them usually in your console first and then enter those addresses in your lights on the back of them via switches or a menu. And so, once you figure out and verify your channels are right, or maybe you skip this step, you can now go to whoever makes your console and update your fixture library, first of all, if they have that option to update the software or update the library or update the profiles. And then you often can ask them to build a profile for you. Now, so with some, every manufacturer is different, right? Some are very receptive to doing this and they're very quick at it. Most of the consoles I recommend are but some are not. Some are very slow. And so what do you do in the meantime? Well, you could patch a light from the Onyx fixture finder that you find that is kind of close, but not quite perfect. You could patch a number of dimmer channels. This is how I actually controlled dimmers and LEDs before these newer type of consoles and software were available in the world. Um, it was much harder, but you can get the job done. You, um, or you could just wait and and wait until you get a good profile. I know that's not the favorite, but um, if it is something like an LED PAR or strip light, something pretty basic that doesn't have a ton of features, 
usually you could put it in a channel mode that's maybe like four or five channels that are just like the colors that it has like red green blue white amber and then you could use a generic profile okay that's another option and that's really the last thing uh, just to sum this up you know with any console look at your unit and if it's not a moving light with gobos and colors and all that jazz if it's just something pretty simple you know an led like this i could take this led light that's shooting across my wall here and I could patch it, sure, I could patch like a 10 channel mode for it that has all these macros and different stuff that I'm never going to use. Or I could patch it as a generic fixture like I have, you know, red, green, blue, white, and it'll be fine. So at the end of the day, you don't have to necessarily match up the name and model of your light with something in your console that matches exactly. All that matters is that the DMX channels and what they do line up and you'll be able to control it accurately. And if you can't get that, of course, just do a bunch of conventional channels until you can get a proper profile. Awesome. If you enjoyed this, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Then, I've got a free guide to help you begin with stage lighting over at learnstagelighting.com, and I want to get it into your hands. So go check that out, and then be sure to be back here on YouTube when I have my next video I'll be glad to show you new things about lighting, help you learn, help you grow, and create awesome and fun lighting. We'll see you there. Thanks.